hello viewers today we will discuss about the traveling block and before going to discussing about the traveling block if you like my videos please subscribe and share okay so what is the traveling block and what are the functions of a traveling block types and characteristics and inspections what is function of traveling block traveling block is a set of sheaves sheaves is nothing but uh, as we know that pulleys like pulleys they are uh, in bolt of that <coughs> block that moves up and down in the derrick so the derrick is the structure which is having a steel members its uh, shape is like some pyramid shape so in that derrick the traveling block having a set of sheaves that those are moves in up and down that means the traveling block is moves up and down because of the rotation of those sheaves it will move up and down so that is what the function of traveling block the next the drilling line is threaded that is reeved over the sheaves on the crown the drilling line that is what the line which is used to lift the entire drill string from the hole to the upside at the time of trip out or maybe <coughs> or maybe inserting the drill string at the time of trip in so drill line is threaded over the sheaves on the crown and through the sheaves in the traveling block this provides a great mechanical advantage <laughs> this provides a great mechanical advantage to the drill line it allow it to lift heavy loads of pipe and casings the only one member in the entire rig uh, drilling industry that is in rig the total load is lifted by this traveling block only the number of pulleys used on the two blocks can be vary from 5 to 8 providing a variable capacity to the hoisting system so these are the manufacturing specifications of the traveling block so now you see this is what the traveling block this is what the traveling block here there is a square which is representing that is what traveling block this is what traveling block this block down side you see there is a hook this hook is used to to lift the load so but the entire load is shared by that how many sheaves which are presented in the traveling block they are they are trying to lift the entire load so manufacturer specifications the diameter and the grooves of the pulleys depend on the dimensions of the drill line the these values are determined by manufacturer in accordance with api standards the ratio of sheave diameter to the drill line should be between 30 to 40 is 1 the traveling block is built in accordance with apa standards again the reference standards adopted for the different companies they are having the different standards types and characteristics so here you see groove type groove the size of the groove should be same as the diameter of the drill line if the drill line size is lesser or maybe bigger then there is a chance for complications how see here what is the diameter of the drill line drill line that will be accommodated in the groove of that sheave if we are providing a smaller groove then there is a excess quantity of drill line will be comes outside then there is a chance of slip or move aside or maybe in the reverse in the reverse like uh, if the sheave diameter is big and the drill line is small then there is a call there then there is a chance of slip so always the diameter of that drill line is same as that of the groove in order to provide the proper support a pulley or groove too large could flatten the drill line and too groove and a groove too small can cause high friction and excess wear on the drill line so these are the two important points 
what we are uh, discussed so if it is a small there is a problem if it is a big also there is a problem so in order to avoid that one we are uh, we are selecting a good size so here you see standard type of traveling block standard type of traveling block dimensions and characteristics we are not discussing in detail here but you but we have to know what are the description about what is the diagram of this uh, traveling block here you see this is the traveling block and this is the front view of the traveling block and it is the side view here you see at the top there is, there are some sheaves are available the, how many sheaves they are available they are uh, dividing the entire load into the number of crews how many sheaves you are providing they will equally share the entire load equally equally share the entire load so that is the purpose and this is the hook where you are providing to hold the entire load upon the traveling block this is the information of the traveling block number of sheaves if the five sheaves six sheaves seven eight depends upon the requirement of that sheaves we are providing and the diameter of the sheaf is also available you see from the starting 45 inches the dimensions are in inches to 72 inches so here like uh, next one load rating in tons line sizes weight in pounds and all the information you see okay and it is the detailed information of the traveling block now you see you can understand better so where the shaft is located this is here the shaft is located and this portion is called sheave guard because the sheaves are in bolted inside this traveling block this guard will support them to this this is like a guard okay and side plates these are the side plates and tie bolts here there are two tie bolts are available and you see here for the hook block to hook adapter block to hook adapter pin there is a pin is also available and the bottom you see that a part belongs to the drilling hook so this is the information a brief description about the traveling block And finally, we will conclude this uh, traveling block with this uh, information. So you see here uh, how the traveling block is look like. So here you see in the right right side there is information of uh, there is a diagram of the entire TDS top drive system. So in this top drive system, top in uh, red color you see orange color. So that is what uh, traveling block. And the bottom yellow color is the total setup of the TDS they contain motors servo motors and all the things they are uh, they will move up and down with the, this traveling block so I hope you understand more about the traveling block okay friends if you like my video please subscribe thank you